California moves two more local counties into the orange tier. I'll show you San Jose's new Silicon Valley landmark. That and more news coming up. Hey everyone, things keep moving in the right direction. Both Alameda and Santa Cruz counties have entered the orange tier effective Tuesday. You know, I always like to remind you all about the changes that come with the new tier. Here are some of the more significant changes under the moderate tier. This move means there are now six Greater Bay Area counties in the orange tier. The other counties, Napa, Sonoma, Solano, and Contra Costa, are still in the most restrictive red tier. It happened even sooner than expected. Contra Costa County has officially opened vaccine eligibility to all residents 16 and older. County health officials made the announcement Tuesday morning. This goes for anyone over 16 who either lives or works in the county. I think we're switching modes from like a, a mode of vaccine scarcity right now to a mode of vaccine plenty. Once we get our entire community vaccinated, it will be a game changer. We'll really be able to return to much more of a sense of normalcy. Coco County Mayor Tom Budd tweeted the newly eligible group can only make appointments through the county's health services website right now, adding it may take several days to get an appointment. With all of these groups now eligible for the COVID vaccine, it only makes sense it may be even harder to score an appointment. Don't stress though, here's our business and tech reporter Scott Budman with some tips and tricks that may help you land one faster. Here's the key, go online, but not just to the county sites. Also try sites like vaccinehunter.org and Dr. B. Think of them as modern matchmakers. Janet, known as a vaccine whisperer, has already helped 30 people find appointments. Her secret? Pharmacies like Rite Aid and CVS opening new appointments at 12.01 a.m. each day on their websites. Honestly, my biggest source of um, appointments is through the actual pharmacies because they um, tend to lo um, load their appointments after midnight. You can find appointments, too, on sites like Dr. B, which matches people looking for appointments with doses. You just enter your data on a computer or cell phone. They'll match you up for free, and they don't stop. And if you're frustrated because your category has already come up and you haven't been able to get a shot, the Dr. B site will prioritize you to make sure that the elderly and frontline workers get vaccinated. Remember that international design contest San Jose opened summer of 2019 to find a new Silicon Valley landmark? Yeah, well, a winner has finally been chosen. Check this out. The Breeze of Innovation Structure is what it's called, was designed by an Australian architecture firm and features 500 dynamic rods, each standing at 200 feet tall, that sway in the breeze while generating power to light up at night. The design was picked out of 960 submissions from 72 countries. The City Council still has to formally approve the new landmark in May, and if all goes well, the structure will be set up at Arena Green and Guadalupe River Park. That is so cool. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to visit. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.